The Reaper smiled. Hearing Nandini's words, he laughed lightly, thinking that he was laughing. The sound of that laughter shook the room and everything in it. When he heard Nandini saying that she would kill those who insulted her with a knife with her own hands, a sense of pride filled his heart. Pallavetare was shocked to know that Nandini was so concerned about protecting his honour. The desire to hear her talk more in the same posture grew on the side of his mind. On the other hand, he wanted to show that he didn't want her to talk like that. Sir! Why are you laughing? Laughing in disbelief at my word? She asked. Goddess! I laughed thinking how you would pick up the knife with your hand as soft as a lotus petal. And when I am alive with two long arms. My hands will also be strong enough to wield a knife if necessary to preserve my chastity and uphold my husband's honor. Look here. Nandini said and moved the box under the couch outwards. She opened the box and disposed of the clothes lying on top of it. She nonchalantly picked up the long sword that gleamed appropriately with one hand and raised it above her head. Palyavetarayar was stunned for a while. Then, how long has this sword been in this box? I thought it was to keep your dress ornaments. Said. Nandini put the sword back in the box and said, Yes, I keep my ornaments in this box. This sword is the most important ornament among my ornaments. It protects my chastity and my husband's honor. But nothing will necessarily happen for you to use it while I'm still alive. That's why I don't take out this sword. Can't they protect their honor with the strength of their shoulders protecting the Chola kingdom from the country of Ezla to the country of Venji? Or can't they protect me, the demon? However, they who are engaged in important royal affairs cannot always protect me. When they are separated from me shouldn't I be ready to defend myself? Goddess! What is the need for that? Let it be, I will never be separated from you again. Sir! That is my wish too, but just this once leave me and come to Tanjapurai. What stubbornness is this? Why should I leave you here just this once? His brow furrowed when the reaper asked. Swami! There are two reasons for that. If you take me with them now, these fools will laugh at us even more. An old man has so much faith in a young queen. They will say. My blood boils just thinking about it. Another reason is even more important. All this time you have been saying that Sam Bavariyar is your best friend and you have come to believe it. But have you noticed the change in his speech and actions since the arrival of the prince? Even if you don't notice, I have been watching. I've been noticing that too. I'm wondering what might be causing the change. You are gullible in heart, therefore you are surprised. I am not surprised at that. The greedy nature of men is the cause of Sam Bavariyar's change. It was rumored that Prince Aditya Kari Kalar would never see women face to face and would never marry. Ever since he came here you have seen the opposite. He often comes to women's places and flirts with them. The reason for all this is that his mind was on Manamekali, the daughter of Sam Bavariyar. Didn't Kudak Kari Kalar ask, should we take Manamekali to hunt? Sam Bavariyar also knows this. So he forgot all the old arrangements. He started dreaming about his beautiful daughter Tanjavur sitting in a golden palace. Yes, it must be because of what you say. I never dreamed that Sam Bavarian was so capricious. Only two months ago in this same palace we all gathered together and vowed to place Madhurand Hagar on the throne of Tanjavur. Sichi! Is he a man who fails to speak like this? Snarled the reaper. Swami! That's why I'm not coming with them. I'll keep an eye on what they're plotting here while they're away. I'll find a way to foil any plotting they do. Nandini! Why do you want to get into all this? Shouldn't the wife also be concerned about what the husband is concerned about? Then why does it tell us life partner? Anyway, I'm going to leave you unaccompanied among these murkers and neezers. I don't like it at all. I am not going here unaccompanied. There is Manamegali, she will do anything for me. That is true, I have also noticed. Your power of seduction has made her your slave. But how long will it last? 
if Aditha Kari Kalan wishes to ascend the throne and make her the emperor. Sir! They need not have the slightest doubt about that. Contrary to my opinion, Manamegala will not accept the position of Devalokit Indrani. Kari Kalan stab him to death with this knife and leave him alone. If I say so, she will immediately do so and leave. You often tell yourselves about my power of enchantment, don't you? It is all over Manamegalai. If you want, I will prove it to you right now," said Nandini. The predator's body throbbed. The old man pursed his lips, choked his throat and mumbled, Devi! I know your power. But in Karakalan's case you should not test anything like that. He is an ignorant boy. We should not exaggerate the fact that he is ignorant of something. If Karakalan wants to marry Manamekalai, we will stop him. Don't be. Sir. We may not forbid it. But there is a fate. Who can forbid it? I am as fond of Manamegali as I am. I desire her as if I were my own sister. How can I agree to give her in marriage to one who is going to die in Alpayol? Said Nandini. Then her gaze seemed to be watching something happening somewhere in the distance. Palyavetarayar became even more agitated and said, Nandini. What is this word? I was once the leader of the Chola Emperor's Veleka army. I have sworn to protect the Emperor and his descendants even with my life. Sir! Did I not say that you should break that oath? If any harm is done to carry Kalan by you, the blame will fall on me. The world will reproach me saying, the old man has done bad things by not tolerating a small child's banter. The good name that our clan has earned by being safe from the Cholas for six generations will be ruined. Then it is imperative that you leave this town immediately." Nandini said in a mysterious voice. "'Why do you say that?' asked the Reaper. "'Or he may be killed by a knife held in the hand of a gentle woman. But, sir, I swear to you that his death will not be by the hand of mine, whom you have married. You married me as an orphan on the side of the road and made me the youngest queen. I will see to it that I do not incur any blame on such people. That's why I urge you not to stay here right now, go away. Whatever mishaps happen to carry Gallon while they are here, the worldlings involve themselves in it. Aromas Hivarman did not blame them for having a sea. They will blame themselves for this too. Even if they don't say they caused the accident, they will ask why they didn't prevent it. But even their Vajrayuta-like arms cannot prevent the calamity that is about to come to carry Kalan. Therefore, you should leave immediately. If they take me with them, there will be vain doubts about that too. They will say that they took me away because they knew earlier. Therefore, only you should go. I will be here to see to it that no matter what happens, no matter how it happens, there is no disgrace for them. Sir! Do you have that much faith in me?" Nandini asked and looked with her big black eyes as if she were looking into the heart of the warrior. Alas! The brave old man was greatly disturbed by Nandini's words. He bowed before her eye arrow. They should leave immediately. If they take me with them, there will be vain doubts about that too. They will say that they took me away because they knew earlier. Therefore, only you should go. I will be here to see to it that no matter what happens, no matter how it happens, there is no disgrace for them. Sir! Do you have that much faith in me?" Nandini asked and looked with her big black eyes as if she were looking into the heart of the warrior. Alas! The brave old man was greatly disturbed by Nandini's words. He bowed before her eye arrow. They should leave immediately. If they take me with them, there will be vain doubts about that too. They will say that they took me away because they knew earlier. Therefore, only you should go. I will be here to see to it that no matter what happens, no matter how it happens, there is no disgrace for them. Sir! Do you have that much faith in me? Nandini asked and looked with her big black eyes as if she were looking into the heart of the warrior. Alas! The brave old man was greatly disturbed by Nandini's words. He bowed before her eye arrow. Only you have to go. I will be here to see to it that no matter what happens, no matter how it happens, 
there is no disgrace for them. Sir! Do you have that much faith in me? Nandini asked and looked with her big black eyes as if she were looking into the heart of the warrior. Alas! The brave old man was greatly disturbed by Nandini's words. He bowed before her eye arrow. Only you have to go. I will be here to see to it that no matter what happens, no matter how it happens, there is no disgrace for them. Sir! Do you have that much faith in me? Nandini asked and looked with her big black eyes as if she were looking into the heart of the warrior. Alas! The brave old man was greatly disturbed by Nandini's words. He bowed before her eye arrow. The heroic old man was greatly disturbed by Nandini's speech. He bowed in awe before her eye arrow. The heroic old man was greatly disturbed by Nandini's speech. He bowed in awe before her eye arrow.